Alright guys, um, two of my games I just ordered from eBay have arrived. I don't know if you can see that with this coming light, but that is Chopper Command and Enduro Racer, which are usually quite expensive Atari games. Not too high light, but some of the more expensive ones. And these two were listed as not working. Black screen when turned on, just a blank black screen. So I'm going to see if I can get them working now, see if we can repair them, have a go. And I only paid, um, I paid just under £5 for the both of them, that's included in the postage. So first of all I'm going to take a Q-tip and we're going to give it a clean, see if we can get it in there. Can't see that's a bit dark in it, I need better lighting. <laughs> Give it a good clean because I've had games before. I've had games I've bought and you have to stick them in and out of the Atari four or five times before they even come on. So, with any luck, well, I say with any luck, I sort of, I'm sort of set on wanting to try and take them apart really and try and fix them. But it'd be nice if they do just work straight off the bat now, like. Could have just tried to stick them straight in, but let's give it a go now. See, that one's had a little bit of a clean, so let's stick Enduro in there. No, that's Chopper Command, sorry. And let's see what happens on my Atari Junior. My Atari Woody is set up a bit out of the way, so it's easier to do it on this Junior. Turn him on. This is a modern Terry. LED screen. Usually I play them on my, my old um, tube Terry, but. Real nothing, try it again. Nothing, just a black screen as said. The only list in. Try them again. Try them quite a few times. Have I done that wrong? No, that's on. Switch on. Strange thing is the way it sort of stays, it doesn't seem to come on straight away for this. That is not even coming on now, is it? Hmm. Little bit. Try reset. Is that reset or? No, it's not. It's still on the telly, isn't it? Try it again. Nope, we're not getting anything by the bit. We're not even getting the telly coming on at the minute. Maybe because of, like I said, I'm on an LCD screen, which isn't maybe the best. Let's try Enduro. Enduro next. Like giving him a clean. I mean, it could be anything, couldn't it? Wrong. But we'll have a look. See if we can fix him up. Fix him up. I mean, there's quite a lot of dirt in there. Let's say usually a few or four times in the machine. Now yeah, let's try and do it. could be not PAL versions and I um, put them on a PAL machine so hmm, they, they seem to come on once or twice and then not at all <laughs> which is funny especially like once or twice is the limit and they've had enough so basically it's right off the map again So it looks like we do get to take them apart. Ooh, what was that? I'm gonna blow my machine up in a minute, am I? <laughs> try it again. Oh, I'll oh, try and get on the black screen now. I'll try pressing reset, see if that does anything. No. Okay. Oh, that's reset. Yeah, that's what we want. No, not so Let's try both anyway. Oh, try it again. One more time. There you go. Nothing still. Right. Zero again. This is what I usually do. Just try to load a tank. Sometimes you get that. No, that looks like wrong. No one else. 
Maybe they're the wrong region or something. It looks a bit weird if they're coming on like that. Like it's, like it's the wrong region or something. A bit of curiosity. I might try them on my... Shall I? Come on, no, I don't really want to come on. Come on. Let's do this now. I'm going to take us on a journey. Uh, yeah, let's take these out. Did I go to the plugs? <laughs> let's turn off these plugs now. And let's take this out through the hallway into the kitchen. Don't leave my totally messy table <laughs> full of electronics. <laughs> Oh, I've always got a messy workbench, just stuff everywhere. But never mind. Put all the and stuff, there you go. Now, the thing is, how do we take these apart? Well, I did have a cup of coffee somewhere. Hang on a minute, I'm just going to go for a cup of coffee. Have a room. Right, got my cup of coffee. Ah. Oh, maybe I can put this tripod down the pad now. Might get a better view there, let's see. Right, let's have a look. Right, start with chopper command, is it? Um, um, what did I do with that? I'm gonna have a look, see if I can see anything. My little watchmaker's handy these things. Watchmaker's eyes piece. Number three that one. It's just I don't know if you can see stuff really but close up. Definitely definitely good for if you're doing surface mount soldering or anything like that. Right, I don't know if these just click apart. I have had some they've glued along the front edge next to the cartridge. The rest is sort of it's coming apart. Look on the sides. The thing is, um, will it sort of be a quick part and hinge? Just carefully sort of prying it up and it's cracking around on the sides. Wait there, it's had got some in. Did that freeze then? <laughs> I got a little bit of tools here. Let's have a look. That one's, that one's like a bit, little bit like a guitar pick. That one, isn't it? Um, I think I use that one. These aren't so sharp, so you speak because I snapped the ends off them. <laughs> I think I was trying to gain another cartridge. I was doing. What's this one? Activision. No, it's not even. Oh, I was pulling it like that. I'm pulling the two front bits apart. Sides are cracking open. Hopefully, it hasn't been open before. So I don't know what's happened there with it then. So get that in the side and gently. Mm, I'm worried because some cartridges have screws. It almost seems like that because this sort of yeah, and I can see the screw holes now. I felt that earlier. I couldn't see no screws, but oh well, you got screws. So what we're going to do now is not try to force that apart and break the screws. We're going to get a knife, which is got to be very careful with these sort of things. They are sharp as hell. wide open these would oh and as I thought as I was hoping for anyway because the the label looks really sort of blotchy and stuff like old like the dampers maybe got to it I don't know they go like after a while I think it's the I think it's um it's not damp I think it's the glue it was a bit old I'm hoping that the whole label will lift slowly I'm not sure that feels like it's been glued again Another worrying thing if someone's been in already and 
watch now open it there'd be no chips in there well there'd actually be some potato chips in there or something let's close, close our knife because i do not want that to give me in the hand oh this might be easier then if i don't have to crack it open then have to remember that won't we won't we won't we have to remember that but send a bit portion oh, won't we activation of cast screws on the front um, ooh, that looks a bit mucky in there, but there's a chip in there, so it's not much in there, is there? Really, <laughs> not much to see. Mm, I don't know, if turning the light on here it might give you more light. It's probably me just getting... Sometimes it makes it worse, though, isn't it? If you turn on the light in the daytime, <laughs> sometimes it makes it worse. Um, right, let's have a look. Can you see that? Right, all we've got is we've got basically some shielding, which is a good thing. So maybe if the chip's shielded, it's less likely. Look at that, it says number 15 on it. It's less likely to have damage from heat or something like that. Oh my god, those contacts are disgusting. <laughs> they get like that, but. Right, Q tip. Might just actually get them. I haven't got no worm. I haven't got any isopropanol or anything like that. Which is a shame. I could do with some. Let's give that a good. Yeah, I'm good clean with the truth. Oh, that is tons of dirt coming off that. That's, that's, that's looking great now. That's looking really clean. I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't put it past it to be the dirt that stopped it working because. Never seen contacts that dirty, but mind you, I've never seen them apart. Very many, only ever taken apart one other, I think, one other cartridge. I bought a Popeye on the Atari, but it was. I couldn't figure out why it wouldn't work, but I figured it out after it. So I think it was. <laughs> it was the wrong region, it wasn't PAL, it was an American card. I can't remember what it's called, not PAL, is it's. Um, what they might say, NTC, or I don't know. Um, but basically, it that's why it won't work again. But the strange thing is, it works, it comes on, it goes fuzzy, you know, it seems to work on one of my televisions. Strange. Now, let's have a quick look. I've got my little eyepiece in. See that? I'll lift it up a minute so I can see it. I can't see any cracked solder or anything. Just the just some really bad. I guess I'm singing there. Just some really bad. Don't even put the eyepiece in. Let's see if I can actually do that. If it, if it overruns. You better see what I can see. If I want to get my hand in the way of the light, you might be able to. <laughs> oh my god, don't leave it out. Oh, you're supposed to go like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's a bit fuzzy in there. Right, some of those contacts on them traces. Them traces are right there and there, the contacts there. But I think. One of them looked a bit questionable. Looks a bit like it might be cracked or something. Bit of solder, so. Yeah, I might get. Let's try putting the pin on it. The multimeter. Let's get the multimeter. I did make a little. Um, Tester, but it's a bit at the moment, it's not in the case or anything, it's a bit quiet because you've got to be careful when you're ordering um, piezo speakers. Some of them are just so rubbish, the ones like, boy, you can hardly hear them. Um, oh, that's it. All right, see now, see, I correct these now, they make a beep. So, I'm going to check some of these traces on here. Let's start at the top end here. Let's see, can I move this a bit lower? 
I'm going to give you a round a bit. Oh, here you go. Right then. <laughs> my hands are annoying. Oh, I'm not going to do this way. My hands are annoying. Right, let's start. Oh, I know. I'm going to use one of these little hacks in a bit. I can't stand things moving about. <laughs> so my little hack is just get a bit of blue tack. I use it when I'm soldering as well. But the worst thing you can do when you're soldering is, is get the heat on it. Oh my god. <laughs> Once it melts, blue tack starts to melt, it'll just glue on everything and mess, make a big massive mess. Well, that feels a bit loose, that shield in, but let's glue it on the rest, so carefully stick it down on there. No, that won't move, will it? So, let's try this, this very end one here. I don't know if that actually goes anywhere. There you go. It looks like it goes to the um, negative outer. Right then. First thing is okay. That's one's okay. That's um, that one's okay. That one's okay. I was sort of hoping for one of them to be not okay. Hmm, they seem okay. Right, so I'll go this, this is basically it. Got a few there, not going up to the chip. Right, that all seems to be. Okay, to be honest. So, we've got some little traces. These are going to be hard to test in there. The fool. Oh, they, they go through there anyway, so I have already actually tested on there. Um, oh, there's some lines coming off this side though, so now I want to be more careful with the blue tax. I don't really want it getting off. It'll be alright though, on there. I'm good with that. Again, maybe could be solved a bit. But so we've got some traces on this side. We're going to check now. I got a knot in the blooming molten wire. Huh? Don't want to be probed. <laughs> be probed. This little ground one seems alright. Mm, it's hard to get to these pins now because they're going to go up under the shield and onto the. So oh, I'm touching the wrong pin now. That one's going all right. That one's all right. That one's all right. That one's all right. <laughs> Done that one, didn't I? Let's just check them again, yeah. That one, so I don't know where he's going. Just went to there where it goes through. Uh, that one's all right. Why it just goes to there? Oh, so there should be a. That's it or something, I don't know. Let's have a look. That one goes to there. That one goes to there. Yep. They all seem to be okay, which is one way is a good thing, and another way is a bad thing because now, now I don't know. That still looks like it's not quite the soldiers cracked. I tell you what, we will. It is actually cracked a bit, and it's. What we'll do though is we'll go now, I think. Give him one last rub with the Q tip. I'm gonna go and test him again, I think. Do you think we ought ah go and have a look? Um that was big, 
this how I forgot which way in they go now. I always do that. <laughs> I could take a part of the old one. That don't seem to be sitting very straight in there though, so. Here we go. I could watch back the video, but I ain't stopping it now. Good going, good in here, so. Um, try him anyway. I think that was the way round. Let's pop the screws back in. Worst comes to worst. I paid, like I said, I paid just under five pounds, which isn't a lot. Worst comes to worst. I've got a few spare cases and spare label. I'd leave that label off, see, and then if I have again another one of these that's broke. Oh, let's take us on a journey again. If I have got no one ever broke, or oh, I just get any cartridge that's broke, I could still use the cartridge case, can I? Right then, now we have to zoom up. I make robot noises. Turn him on. I could try it on the old telly, like maybe. I don't know if the telly would have any effect. Let's have a look on the old telly. I've only just started trying these games with this telly, to be honest. Right, we've, played, we've switched the plugs on. Here we go, we have contact. Can you see that good? I'm just in the light again. Can you see the Atari at all? Angle you there. A nice fancy cut scene for me. <laughs> right, let's stick. Slightly sorry looking with no label. Chopper command, I think it was on it. In there and power on. And I'm not. Well, I wasn't actually feeling very um, confident, but it looks like she's loaded up straight away. Look at that. <laughs> So, I'm now chuffed, let's see if she works, see how she plays, I can't believe it really. Is that luck or is that luck? See a bit of dirt, god that must be quite a bit of dirt. I honestly thought I was not going to get this looking. I've never played this game before, but I've always wanted it. Right, so that was an easy fix, on it? <laughs> Didn't we have to do nothing here? Well, I'll just stick the label back on there. And enjoy playing the game. Let's turn him off a minute. Turn him off a minute. Take it out again. Put back in. See what happens. Straight on up. Right. Put that back up there now. Should we go and do the same? Go and do the same to um, Enduro. Well, actually, I've got another idea. Instead of doing. Come on, let's go on our journey. Angling you down so you don't see my... <laughs> so you don't see any of my mess. My bikes. Keep my bikes in my kitchen, man. It's the thing, living in a flat, you can't really... I live in a flat. No apartment. Can't really... Get the garage or anything like that. But... Here we go. So, instead... Taking this one apart, I could just actually try and clean it as is, really. Do you think I will? I don't know. Um, do I want to take it apart? Let's try cleaning it as is. See, there's the Q-tip again. I just can go for it. Go for it and see if this will work. Careful, Brian. We don't want to snap the cartridge. <laughs> 
Then I really would have something to fix, and I if I could snap the end of the circuit board. Oh, look at my Q-tip. Oh, on the other side. Oh, I'm gonna go get another one. That's terrible. Oh, there you go. Gone over to my drawer full of what oh, tools and junk. Every man should have a drawer full of junk in his kitchen. A bag full of tools and a drawer full of junk. Ooh. Not much coming off there. I think that's actually clean as it's going to get. I don't know. If it doesn't work again, then I'll take it apart again. All it needed really was a bit of... See if I had like a or something like that on here. If anyone knows a good alternative. I'll be using like nail varnish remover, but I'm not sure if that's a bit. I don't know if that would be good. Let's do that. Can you even see? Am I in? It's not much to see anyway, is it? It's a bit dark, but there you go. Now we're gonna go on a journey again. Do, 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 do. Now I have to keep putting the tripod up and down, don't I? Don't worry about it. Through the door. Back up. I wonder if I can just angle it up. <laughs> Do you want that angle? Let's get you up the way like That's not actually so bad. It's sort of facing. There you go. Now let's see if Enduro will work. Should do. I'm actually confident for it now. Sod off. I'm confident that it working now. Chopper commands worked. All it was was the dirt. Now, if you see nothing, so it's um, a problem. I'm gonna have to take the label off again, and I to, let's see. This one will probably pop up just to see. Come on, let's just take it in. It's not working. Let's go for another walk. See, I'll never take you anywhere. <laughs> there you go, a little journey. Right, we're going to take this one apart now. I'm going to have a little look. Oh, look out for my sticker. My sticker. Look at that sticker. Let's stick that. See if we can stick that back on, actually. Now that I'm not confident for. I think I'm going to have to use glue. I've got a type of glue which quite good for stickers and stuff like this. Ooh, the bottom name one in the stick though, but I don't like using it that much because it's a bit like you put it on and it seems to soak into the sticker. Anyway, and the sticker stays forever like sticky <laughs> on the outside. It's like, oh my God. And now my sticker's sticky. Right, let's see if we can get our knife again. Oh, we're a bit hot. Come on, let's go that. Did we even see me sticking a sticker back on? I got a sticker back on, but the back bit there is still not stuck. So, because when I took this off, the, the glue on here was still actually wet. So, like, that's why I thought it was still like sticky. So, I thought maybe that's why. I thought maybe someone had taken it apart before me, but I'm putting the glue. But, right, let's go really careful now. Mm, I think this one's been a bit harder, so. But. What I don't want to do is wreck the sticker, so. I'm just going to try and get. Yeah, because look, this doesn't look so. So that on the edge it does, it looks a bit. It's all gone funny colour and. It looks like it's wet. Because the glue is gone. Right, let's angle that knife backwards like that, Let's see if we can get that. Well, I've got enough of that close out before I cut my hand open, which would not be nice. Okay, in the hospital, how did you cut your hand open, Mr. Reddy? Right there. Ooh, this glue, look at that. That is very sticky. In a way, that's good because. This one definitely feels like it's been re glued. So, hmm, I 
I'm wondering whether that chopper command. Or oh, it looks like the chopper command stickers down the peel at the one end as well, you can see it. It wasn't as sticky as this one. I could actually stop there. Could have stopped ages ago, I didn't real, really realise. I was so intent on the job at hand of getting the sticker off. I didn't realise I could have actually stopped right down by the screws. Right, let's see what you put that like that over there maybe. Try and stop the sticker from getting damaged. Ooh, these contacts look hang on. Yeah, that's how you stick it in. This one hasn't got a shield in. Which is maybe they didn't put a shield in on this one. But I don't know. It's not some sort of new type of chip, is it? No, it says that. It actually says active with this. There, see it? No, you can see that. Active vision. So it says active vision just right on the chip. ACTVSN. That's active vision. Anyway, let's check. Ooh. That looks like a nasty. Oh, to be honest, the. I just look and do it still on this one. It's like the other one I had to take it off and give it up damn good. Chug with the um No, I hope I can get that cartridge. Oops, what it oh have I have I done it? Have I done it? Right. This just popped out <laughs> with my hand on it and basically the spring that was doing it I cannot see anymore does it really need the spring smell my coffee is not to drink that right let's see if we can find that damn spring now that's one of my worst hates is when something goes twang and then you spend in the next hopefully not the next 10 minutes now on the floor looking for it because I'm sure Two in, didn't it? Right, I'm gonna get in on the floor. I'm gonna get my head in flat against the floor so I can look. Have you got under the fridge? <laughs> you guys see it? I can't see it. Hmm. My coats are on a chair this way, so obviously I didn't hear it hit nothing, so maybe it didn't have a spring on it. Maybe it only had one on one side. I don't know. Oh, I can't see it. <laughs> That's just typical me, that is. That is typical me. It probably bounced off. Let's see where it's facing. Yeah, it's going straight into my coats. Ah, yeah, I moved my coat and I hit something off. So I think we were lucky there. Oh, where the hell did that happen? There you go. <laughs> Ended up in my coat. I'll keep it facing that way just in case. Oh, actually, I'm not going to tension that spring now. I'm going to intention the other one as well. Intention me. Pun, pun actually intended. I wonder if the blue tap would actually be good to clean the contacts with. Probably just putting a lot of blue tap residue on there now, but. Mm, let's try this. Rubber as well. <laughs> the old tough brush. Cut the tops off. I use them as in one of my other videos. I use them as the razors. Save money where you can, innit? Right. Um, let's see. Yeah, we ought to go and ch check that now. And try it out in the machine. Machine. Let's have a look at it with the. Th oh, what have it? Oh no. Gold. One of those days. Some of these contacts in here actually do look. They do look a bit um, funny. So. I suppose no, that's not bad actually. It's not. 
not even going to check them at the minute. Ooh, look at that one. Them pins do look very... green on them to be honest <laughs> but that's um it's like copper in it so you get green it might have been left out like i said could have been left out in did i say or am i just lying <laughs> that's the old one <laughs> could be left out in a damp shed or something like that but you know we want more like this, don't we? If we can buy more like this on eBay, then we've already got one game for cheap, haven't we? What was it? It's about four pound. I don't know, four pounds something. So basically, I was two pounds something for each game. And I've seen these ones going for like you know, I don't know. I just might be about seven pound to pick up. I'm not sure, but I've seen ones going for about fourteen. Something like that. Pounds. I don't know what that is in um, dollars. Ain't that bright? <laughs> That's um, I'm terrible with numbers and time. I think that is the right way because the other one looks the same. Right. I'm lucky I didn't lose the springs in the other one because I didn't even realise. Right, remember it was that way up now, wasn't it? Shit, that did slot. I don't know why that. Let me jump. I don't know why that hasn't got a shield in it. It's got two pin. It's got two holes that could have. Maybe someone did actually take it apart at some point left the shielding off. Maybe they even took it apart to fix it and couldn't and didn't realise it's just the um, contacts. Maybe this one isn't the contacts though to be honest, I don't know. Right, I'm going to see if I can stick it in the machine like that so I don't have to. I'll put it a bit further up by the screws, that's good. Because on the top of the command, look, it's standing up peel off on the top now. <laughs> still, the glue is still a bit wet, but it's always the corners and it? it's once they're free, they're like, I'm free! Let me cut down. Oh, I don't know. Oh, what have I done now? Typical me, isn't it? No, I'll just pull that down a bit more. Do not want that to rip. Right, 38 minutes. This video has been on for 38 minutes. Damn. Let's get this. Let's get this in there and see if it works now. Mm, my telly's decided to turn itself off, is it? Um, let's see. Come on. Get on. Right. I don't think you want to stay looking down there, do you? Right, let's get you up. There, I tell you. Oh. There we go. Oh. <laughs> right, now let's try the enduro with the flappy sticker. I haven't got the screws in there, mind you, so just be careful. My hands sticking to the, oh, I hate that sticky hands. Right now, let's try it. On switch. Oh, yay. We have people in Neural Racer. So, all it was really is a bit of copper oxidize, oxox, what's the word? Copper oxidation <laughs> or something. And a bit of dirt on the contacts. Oh, yeah. What do I do on this? Do I open? Never had this game you but well. I don't know, I might have had it when I was a kid but I can't remember it. Oh my god. Another one you have to pay a lot more than to spend something for. Under two pound fifty it would have been, wouldn't it? Because I paid under five pounds or just under five pounds somewhere. I think it was even under two and under under um four fifty I think it was four. Whoa. Oh 
ho 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 Nice game! Like me! Use some dodging skills on this, don't you? Oh, it's snowing! Snow Can we build a snowman? No, we can't. I'm busy driving here. Is this alright? I'm just stay on this side. I'm not gonna come in. Oh! Ah! <laughs> Seems like a pretty good game. I've been wanting to get pole position, but I was trying to get the cheapest I can get. Like, I probably, I may have got pole position this time if I hadn't seen these ones. Oh well, I think this video has been too long anyway. So, oh well. Yeah. I think I'm just. too long. Maybe I'll do a video on playing this sometime. So there you go. Both games working fine now. Let's try turning him off again once more. Oh, I don't think I'll take him out. <laughs> turn him on. There you go. A little bit, little bit of a hiccup there but it comes straight on so I might just go and clean the contacts a bit more and give them a little bit more of a rub. That's it. You know that's gold. That was an easy fix on it. <laughs> Sarah, people, I'll see you again next time. I might do another repair video if I find anything else. I've done plenty of repairs, I just never videoed them, so... Next time I'll try and video them, so see you next time. So long.